Brothers and sisters, though we did not have uh, a service on Christmas Eve, uh, the night of Christmas Eve, uh, there was nonetheless an offering. And uh, so I would encourage you to prayerfully and seriously and joyfully uh, consider your offering to uh, the weavers, the weavers uh, who are our missionaries with Wycliffe. They were able to make it back to Papua New Guinea uh, earlier uh, this, uh, this fall, um, I believe. And so they are there now spreading the gospel and doing the good work that they do there. You can read more about that in your bulletin from last week. Um, but also we have an offering for today. And today is for World Renew. And, and it is beautiful because we get to we get to support people who are on the ground working uh, like the weavers, uh, but we also get to support the big picture, and that money will go to multiple people who are working in this world to help it to be a better place, a place that more resembles God's desire for us and this world. And so I pray and hope that you will, uh, you will prayerfully consider that. Also, for those of you who are watching this, who are members of our congregation, uh, there is no obligation for people who are visiting uh, us online uh, to, to heed this particular part of things. But for those of you who are members of our congregation, I would remind you that this year we are coming up on the end of this uh, year. And so our offering on the 27th, that's this coming Sunday, will be for, uh, for members especially uh, to help us make up our budget shortfall. Uh, that is to help us, um, yeah, to help us to do all of the ministry that we do. Um, everything from keeping the lights on and the recordings going and paying your pastor's salary uh, through to helping the poor and needy of this community and funding our GEMS and cadets programs and so on. So uh, prayerfully consider what God might be asking you to do for the budget of this congregation on September or December the 27th. Now, let us come to God in congregational prayer. And as we do so, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, that Jeanette uh, is having to isolate. Um, she was potentially exposed uh, to COVID uh, through driving the school bus. And uh, so she is having to isolate at home. Uh, so please be in prayer for her. She has no symptoms so far. And, uh, and also Fred and Cynthia, uh, who have or who were isolating? They should be done their isolation now, and uh, they are uh, doing quite well. Now let us come to God in prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for bringing us together on this Christmas day. Lord, please guide us as we celebrate this day together, and may Christmas not be something that is isolated to this one particular day of the year. I know it's a, a cliche, oh God, to hear the idea of Christmas being in our hearts all year long. Uh, but God, I mean that not just in some vague sense of giving or generosity or, 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 or anything like that, but in the very specific sense of knowing and celebrating our Savior, Jesus Christ. I know that the real St. Nicholas would have felt the same. Father, may we today, as we celebrate in whatever ways we do, do so in a way that is loving. Loving to our friends and our family and our neighbors, loving to our communities and loving to this province and this country, and indeed, O oh God, this whole world. Father, we pray for this whole world. We ask that you would continue to be with all of our political and health leaders in this country and around the world. Father, we pray in particular for the folks of the United Kingdom as they are facing significant lockdowns and a new variant of COVID 
that seems more virulent than uh, the traditional one, if I can put it that way. Father, we pray for many countries in Europe that are in lockdown again. We pray as well for our province, O oh God, and for the other provinces of this country, particularly Ontario and Quebec as we head into lockdowns of our own, starting Boxing Day in Ontario. Father, would you please help us to recognize that while it is possible for us to disobey the recommendations and regulations with which we are presented, while it is possible for us to do that, and while we may feel like our rights are being trampled upon, and they may even be being trampled upon, I don't claim to be a constitutional expert. Regardless of God, oh God, help us to love our neighbors, all of the people of Canada and this world, by doing what will help them to be safe. Regardless of our opinions or our beliefs or our strongly held convictions, or even our knowledge. Help us to love our neighbors. Father, we pray for uh, people like Jeanette and like uh, Fred and Cynthia. We thank you so much that Fred and Cynthia are doing better and that they, uh, they should be out of isolation now. Lord, we pray that you will be with them. We pray that you will be with Jeanette and Kent as they uh, try to isolate even from one another in their home. We pray that you will um, care for them. We pray for all of the people of our congregation. Lord, we think of those who, who may be lonely during this holiday season, who may be lonely on Christmas Day, this day. Lord God, please help them and guide them. And Father, please help us as we hear your word. To know, to know you, and to worship you in all that we say and do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.